this lab is an inquiry into the efficiency of a small electric motor. The essential question to the students is, how do you determine the efficiency of this motor? We have a small electric motor right here that's hooked up to a spindle. The spindle has some nylon cord. If you follow the nylon cord down, we'll see that we have a rudimentary hook made out of a paper clip and three or four little aluminum washers. I've got a meter stick here so that we can actually determine the amount of distance that we lift the washers up. So we can determine the height of the washers times the weight of the washers. That will give us the potential energy of the washers, which is going to be representative of the output work done by the motor. The motor is hooked up to a small circuit. I'm running three volts. It is also hooked up to a voltage probe that's going to allow us to get a voltage time graph. And I have an ammeter. So the students can read voltage and amps, multiply it by time, and get the work done by the circuit, the electrical work. And then we'll be able to measure the height, as we said, and the actual work done by the motor, the mechanical work. So we get a transfer of energy uh, during this inquiry. So we're going to try this now. I'm going to turn the computer on, and then we're going to engage the switch, and we'll watch the motor lift the aluminum washers. Here we go. Perfect. You can see we ran on the graph here a very smooth, approximately two volts, all during the engagement of the motor. 